Brooks Andrea here. Today we are going to continue my declutter series with my ColourPop Super Shock Singles. Say that five times fast, my goodness. So I have eyeshadows, I have blushes, highlighters, a little bit of bronzer I think too. I've been collecting these for a long time. As you guys know I love to collect makeup. So if you love to collect makeup too then you should subscribe because we have lots of fun here. But today we're going to declutter these ColourPop Singles because this drawer needs a major clean out. So if you guys are ready, let's get into it. Okie dokie, so I'm going to start with the blush and bronzer and highlighter singles and then we'll move our way over to the eyeshadow. So I've got all the blushes that I have. This collection, I used to collect these a lot more than I do now, but I stopped purchasing these because I noticed I just wasn't using them as much, but the store needs a major clean out. So here is the shade Prenup. ColourPop is so hit and miss with their limited edition stuff that I have no idea what's still available and what's not. So really sorry for that. Here is the shade Prenup. These are pretty, but they're just hard to use. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and declutter all of these for the most part. This one is in between the sheets. So this is a pretty popular one. And as you can clearly see, this one is not doing so hot. So that one's definitely gonna have to go in the trash. Uh, you can revive these, I've seen, but I haven't actually tried to do it. So if you guys want a video where we try to revive them together, that might be fun. Let me know if you guys want to see that. This one is in the shade Holiday. I don't know what I was thinking buying this. I never wear this kind of color. Then we have Tongue Tied, which is this like orangey shade here. Hopefully I am in frame. Then we've got this one, which is hysterical. This one is really pretty, but again, I just don't reach for this formula. So I'm probably gonna declutter all of it. So all of those are going away. This one is in the shade nonfiction. This one is actually the most intriguing to me because it has like a shimmery iridescence to it. So this is the only one of the blushes that I'm gonna hang on to and give a go. All right, highlighters. Okay, I'm back. I was missing a highlighter. So we are gonna go through these. Uh, let's see, this one is the one I was missing. This is Flexitarian. This is the newest to my collection. Samantha March raved about it and it looked beautiful on her so I did pick it up. I really like this. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. This one is in Hippo. This is one of those really cool like duo chrome type of highlights. Is this one still available? I have no idea. Um, but it's a really interesting, if it is, it's one of those interesting shades, but I'm really not, the, co the <clears throat> words, the trend for like colorful highlights has kind of come and gone for me anyway. I'm sure there are folks that still love it, but for me it's kind of past. This is the shade Monster, a similar kind of feel. This one is interesting as well. This one... I don't know if you guys can tell. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch everything, and I'm not, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one as well. Then we have this one in Fanny Pack. This is a, like, white. It's a pretty pure white, too. So there's that one. I'm going to hang on to this one. Why am I opening these? We'll be here all day. Uh, this one is a bronzer, I believe. I have a cat in my makeup drawer. Uh, this one is a bronzer, yeah. I'm liking the tone of that. I'm gonna hang on to this bronzer and see if I actually use it. If not, it needs to go. All right, pretty good progress here. Then this one is the shade Dream Catcher. This one is pretty, but it looks a little deeper. I feel like I need to open these so you can see them all. This one is, well, it's not as deep as I thought it was. These are pretty, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one as well. I need to be realistic with myself. This one is also a little bit deeper one. This is a gold. This is the shade Wisp. It's a really popular one, or used to be if it's still available. <laughs> Color pop, help us out. Okay. Anyway, and then lunch money. This was also a really popular one. I remember liking, but again, I never really reached for these, so I need to be pretty brutal about this one. So lunch money, also getting decluttered. This one is in the shade Road Trip. This was one of their limited edition ones, and I probably bought it in in fairness for the like. I don't know what you would call that, the, the marbling effect. 
it's a pretty highlighter. It's nothing like to write home about necessarily. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one as well. It still seems to be good. You have to tighten the caps on these so much. Then this one is double dip. Again, kind of a more golden tone. Going to go ahead and get rid of that. And finally, parasol. Again, more of a golden tone. Going to go ahead and declutter that. So I feel pretty good about the highlight blush bronzer section. I decluttered 75% of those. So let's look at these eyeshadows. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was fun and entertaining and helpful in some way. And if it was, I do hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe. You've been so already. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.